hello guys welcome to my channel so in today's video we will be discussing regarding relative humidity and dew point so let us see what is relative humidity but before understanding relative humidity we should understand what is humidity so let us see what is humidity humidity is nothing but quantity of water vapor present in the air so quantity of water vapor that is the main thing in humidity it is present in the air so now let us see what is relative humidity relative as the word suggests relative means it is relating to things let us see what does it relate to so here is the big formula but it's very simple formula just remember that relative humidity is a percentage ratio percentage ratio between present weight of water vapor and maximum weight possible at that temperature maximum weight of the water vapor possible at that temperature in 200 so let us understand and go into more deep about the understanding of this formula now let me take a compartment and let me put some 100 grams of air in this compartment now as you all know that if it has 100 grams of air that means that there might be some amount of water vapors present in the compartment so at this time at this present time whatever the total weight of all this water vapor is there that is nothing but the numerator which is nothing but present weight of water vapor so all the weight of the water vapor is the present weight of water vapor it's very clear now let us see the second part now let me take a piece of cotton and let me deep into the water the moment i deep into the water the cotton will become wet and after some time it will has it will not hold the water it has certain limit to hold the water so this limit as the cotton has similarly the air also has certain limit to hold this water vapors so now the water vapor are so far away from each other let me make it more denser so the moment i make it more denser as you can see the same way like cotton the air also has the capacity it has the limit to hold this water vapor and this limit during this limit whatever the total weight of all the water vapor is there that is the second part second part here as it says maximum weight of water vapor possible at that temperature so this is the second part into 100 100 is that is because you have to obtain the percentage ratio so this is very simple and very clear what is relative humidity now let us go to dew point and let me take a sample of dry air and let me start cooling this air the moment i start cooling the air the relative humidity increases as in the previous part we have we are clear with what is relative humidity so the relative humidity increases and let after cooling let me say that this dry air becomes a cool air now the moment it becomes a cooled air which means that the air has become more moist so the air has become more moist and one time there will be one time when this air becomes wet that is completely moist so this this situation when the air becomes completely wet is nothing but the relative humidity is becoming 100 percent this is what is when it rains during rain the relative humidity is 100 percent so as you know that the moment the relative humidity becomes 100 percent what we call this air as we call this air that air has become saturated and the temperature at which this air becomes saturated is nothing but dew point so we are very much clear with what is dew point it is very simple and if the temperature falls below this dew point this dry air will become wet and it will get converted into liquid that is the water vapor becomes the dry air becomes converted into liquid so this is all about dew point 
so guys if you like this video please like subscribe and comment and tell me how you felt about this video and thanks for watching guys